Hey gang, <laughs> Schlocktoberfest needs to be preserved with a review of the movie The Jar. This one is about a guy named Paul who gets into an accident with an old man. And what poor Paul doesn't realize is that the old man is, for some reason, that I don't think is ever explained, is carrying around a jar inside of a paper bag. And of course it contains the demon that you may be able to see inside. The demon causes hallucinations to whoever has it. So shortly after Paul unwraps the jar, <laughs> he starts having really weird hallucinations. And eventually he meets up with his neighbor named Crystal who takes a very, very fast interest in him. And Paul keeps seeing hallucination after hallucination after hallucination after hallucination. And they become more nonsensical and weirder than the last one. Eventually, at some point, Paul smashes the jar and the demon gets loose. Which, of course, causes Paul to hallucinate some more. So after having a hallucination about his neighbor Crystal, he goes to her to try to get her help. But then they hug, and Paul believes that Crystal is the old man who had the jar, and he winds up taking out Crystal. Paul's boss, named Jack, comes by to try to check up on him. When he walks into the apartment, he locks eyes on the demon and screams, and the movie ends. This movie stars nobody! <laughs> I can't imagine any of the people who were in this movie went on to do anything else. And believe it or not, this was on a $200,000 budget, and I would think that most of it probably went to one particular scene in the movie. But um, So why did this movie suck? The guy playing Paul seemed like he was really trying to go for that Oscar nomination in this one uh, as the movie went on. At first, it didn't seem like he was giving a whole lot of a, a whole lot of a performance or anything like that. And then, after a while, it's like he's really trying to do all he can to try to say, I want that Oscar. <laughs> uh, the demon effect looks incredibly bad. It looks like uh, maybe... You know that movie, uh, Sorority Babes and the Slimeball Bolorama? It almost kind of looks like that, except no pointy ears. Uh, and this movie is full of so many hallucinations, it's, it gets annoying really, really quick. In fact, one hallucination Paul has is apparently what's, what I'm guessing is supposed to be a Vietnam flashback. And I'm like, I didn't know Paul was in Vietnam. I don't think this was brought up in the movie. Or if it was, I wasn't paying attention. Um, and, the, and the really crazy thing is that uh, in his Vietnam hallucination, he's walking up to a guy who's sitting at a table drinking champagne. I thought, what? <laughs> and there's one where uh, I guess he's out in the desert or something like that, or some sort of desert-like place, and there's druids, and they're, and they're dragging a cross where it goes nowhere. Um... See, so yeah, I imagine most of the $200,000 probably went to that Vietnam flashback. Uh, there's actually one quote in the movie that made me laugh the most, and that's when uh, Paul's boss, Jack, comes in to see him, and he says, You look like you've been worked over by Hell's Angels. I kind of hate to say this, but I think if he was, he probably wouldn't still be in the apartment. He'd probably be in a morgue or something like that. But yes, the jar... This movie's so stupid. <laughs> I want to get some shout-outs to some uh, fellow 
uh, horror movie channel YouTubers. I hope you guys will go check out. And boy, I hope they don't get mad at me for mentioning them in this video. So please go check out Terror for Tom, Darien Castle, Nuke Norway, Rebirth of Mercy, aka ROM's Reviews, aka ROM, and Killer Nerd 75. But there you guys have it, a review of The Jar from 1984. I think there was another version of this movie, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah. If you've seen it, love to hear from you guys about what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't seen it, well, it's here on YouTube, and proceed with caution. And of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi, horror, comedy, horror, fantasy horror movie that you felt like really need to have a lid put on it, send it my way and I'll get on a day ASAP. And Schlocktoberfest will keep going until Halloween. I hope you guys will keep watching, tuning in, and, and, and be saving the worst for the last. So, until tomorrow, thanks for watching everybody. God bless you all. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.